In this video, we're going to cover managing on-the-spot expenses using checks, cash, and credit cards in QuickBooks Online. Examples of on-the-spot expenses which completely bypass or ignore the accounts payable function are charitable donations, rent expense, gas and auto maintenance expenses, and incidental expenses such as postage or office supplies. Here's how you'd record an expense check in QuickBooks Online. Select Banking, then select Check Expense. Select the correct bank account and fill in your check with the name of the supplier, the check number, the date of the check, and the amount of the check, including any sales tax. Enter a memo if you like. and go to the bottom half of the check form to categorize the expenditure properly. Choose the expense account, put in the pre-tax amount, and then use the tax code that applies. You could also enter customer information if this expense is to be allocated to a job, and possibly to be invoiced back to the customer. You could also enter a class if you're tracking classes or departments in QuickBooks Online. Hit Save. For cash expenses, such as in the case of someone coming to your business asking for a donation to a well-known charity, here's how you'd record that expense in QuickBooks Online. Select Banking, then select Cash Other Expense. Select the Cash on Hand account and fill in your check with the name of the charity, in this case the supplier. Set that supplier name up on the fly if it's a new supplier name. The reference number, in this case instead of a check number, I'm going to put in the reference code CASH. The date of the cash payment and the amount. Enter a memo if you like, and in the bottom half of the form choose the expense account, Charitable Contributions. Hit Save. Credit card expenses can be entered in a similar fashion. Now let's assume you had to go to the office supply store to purchase stationery. You're using a company credit card. Here's how you'd record that credit card transaction in QuickBooks Online. Select Banking, then select Credit Card Expense. Filling out the credit card expense form is very much like filling out a check. Specify the credit card account, the supplier or name of the store, the reference number, instead of a check number I'm putting in the reference code Visa, the date of the credit card purchase, and the total amount of the purchase including any sales tax. Enter a memo if you like, and then go to the bottom part of the form. Enter the stationary expense the pre-tax amount, and the tax code. Hit Save. We have now covered how to manage on-the-spot expenses in QuickBooks Online. Thank you.